Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about claustrophobia. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about claustrophobia. Now, there are all different types of phobias, and they're classified into different categories. Claustrophobia is a type of specific phobia because it's related to a specific event or item. In other words, it has a specific trigger. In the case of claustrophobia, it can be confined or enclosed spaces. So for confined spaces, think places that are small, like tiny closets or elevators. But remember, claustrophobia is about more than just small spaces. Enclosed spaces can be a trigger as well. So places that could be difficult to get out of, like say a car or a subway or definitely a moving airplane. That can mean getting around as someone with claustrophobia can be extremely difficult. Because claustrophobia presents as a range, that means it goes all the way from a mild anxiety to a much more extreme anxiety, sometimes overwhelming anxiety that can cause panic attacks. So in the milder cases, you might have a trembling or maybe even a slight dizziness all the way to more severe cases where you could get really nauseous, your heart might start racing, and you could even start to feel like you're choking. These are severe biological symptoms that can happen in situations that some of us wouldn't even think to be scared of. Experts really vary on how many people experience claustrophobia. You can find percentages as low as 10%, all the way up to 15 to 18% of the population worldwide that experience claustrophobia. It's likely that we'll never really be sure of an exact percentage because a significant section of people who have claustrophobia choose to avoid situations where they know they would have difficulty. For instance, if your claustrophobia is triggered by having to go through revolving doors, you're probably gonna find another way to get into that building. If you can avoid the situation that triggers your claustrophobia, it's likely that you'll never seek professional treatment, and therefore psychologists can really only guess at the percentage of the population with claustrophobia. Many of the people who do seek treatment for claustrophobia say that there are two main reasons for their condition. The first reason is having a parent or caregiver who had claustrophobia. This could be that claustrophobics could be learning from the adults in their lives to be scared of small spaces. But it does also seem that there might be something to the idea of claustrophobia being passed down to you from your parents. In 2013, scientists demonstrated that they could trigger claustrophobia more easily in mice with a certain gene abnormality. And now we know from genetic samples from claustrophobic humans, that same gene is more likely to be mutated than it would be in someone who doesn't have claustrophobia. The other reason people give for having claustrophobia is some sort of traumatic incidents. For instance, being trapped in an elevator or in a car accident where you're pinned inside your vehicle. This type of claustrophobia looks outwardly the same. So anxiety, panic attacks, but might also be related to post-traumatic stress disorder. And so people with this form of claustrophobia might also experience things like flashbacks or extreme aggression. If you're watching this video because you think you might be experiencing the symptoms of claustrophobia, I encourage you to seek treatment from a licensed counselor who will really listen to the specific problems claustrophobia has caused in your life. And I also want to say that I'm proud of you for watching this video to try to explore and understand what's happening. That's already a huge step. Learning about the science of psychology is a big step for all of us. So if you want to know more about the psychological conditions that can affect you, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.
<laughs> okay, claustrophobia. Fear of Santa Claus. Oh, oh wait, <laughs> what video is this? <laughs>